Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2 here today on the channel. We're back on our Spartacus Rises Let's Play as Spartacus. This is episode 4. In today's episode, we're going to continue our conquest of Sicily, taking Lilibaeum and uniting the island, and then continuing to push north with my right-hand man, my Gaulish friend and compadre, Crixus. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on, let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series thus far, and we'd like me to expand and conquer. Crixus is pushing for, from his defensive stance in Rome, and has now taken Hatria, which is fantastic. We're going to be pushing north into the Roman Republic province of Umbri. I'll put in the description below as well the mod if you guys would like to download it and play along with me. Alrighty, Crixus can push further north into Umbri now. We're still consolidating the north. Let's push into another city. Still continuing upon the rapid fast blitzkrieg against the Roman state. Crixus is getting some victories under his belt, which is fantastic. Slowly but surely, trying to bring Spartacus up here. And Crixus is still continue upon his initiative to take the entire region of Umbria. Unfortunately, we're not in range just yet, which is a shame, but We'll try and take the entire province here today. Right, now we're in range. Unfortunately, Crixus hasn't got the best of armies, but like diverse-wise, we haven't got too many servile veteran warriors, but these lighter auxiliaries will do well. We've finally got my economy into a sensible and reliable state of affairs. Still continuing on our main objective to take the entirety of Italy. Umbri is about to fall to Crixus. Maybe he can be the lord of these new lands. I like giving him a princedom or a little earldom. I like the sound of that. Well, Spartacus can be the Thracian king of the Italian peninsula. Hey, finally, we've got some diplomatic options. We've only found Rome and its enemies. Let's negotiate with Numidia and try and get some treaties. They really like what we've done with the place in Italy. So we're going to be able to get trade rights, potentially a non-aggression pact, and military access with some coins. Well, they want an alliance. Ah, oh, the Numidians want an alliance. Uh, let, can we go with military? Would that work? Is that possible? Oh, they got to accept it. Let's get the deal done. And see how Rome is faring in North Africa against them. And Massali as a client state of Rome just hates us. Even though I'm sure they'd be sort of keen about Hellenic freedom. Or maybe most of the Greek world sort of gone now. So they have Lepidus, Magna there, Caspia... Even got some forces down there. Small army near Hadramentum. So Namidia still holds on. They look sort of a little. They're not sort of like the sort of Namidian nomads. I guess they occupy some of the old Carthaginian territory on the coast. So they have evolved from their early primitive horse riding ways. Okay, guys, welcome to the top of the turn. Spartacus has finally arrived in Rome. We're going to be pushing and having the battle and siege for Tarquinii. I think that's how you say it. I've never had to pronounce that word before. So I'm going to assume I've said it wrong. <laughs> Tarquinii. I think that's how I would say it. So Spartacus is here. He's going to siege this one out. And for the first time in the series, Crixus is going to be fighting side by side with his own force. 
But let's sort of divide up the army and make it a little bit more balanced. We'll give some of those Servi, Servi infantry to Spartacus. As we've had to get some lowly leveled rank and armor recruits. So, let's build some more siege equipment to get all of our available boys in. We nearly have 6,000 men loyal to Spartacus. Let's continue to siege them out. Oh, Rome has moved an army north in southern Gaul. Maybe they're going to react, or maybe they've just been over there focusing so much. I don't know what's going on. Hey! The Roman force in Tarquinii has sallied out against us to face us in the open field. Spartacus and Crixus. Let's get stuck into this one. Let's do a quick save and a hard save. And fight this one on the battle map. The Battle of Tarquinii is 72 BC. So they have some veteran Roman legionaries. Some legionary infantry as well. A lot of Astarte. This is one of the bigger armies. As this Tarquinii settlement is their new capital. But we outnumber them 3 to 1. So depending on how the deployment phase goes it's going to be interesting to see how this fight breaks out now unfortunately guys this series will end in the not too soon future so help me out let me plan ahead what I should replace it with should we do more Rome 2? potentially a DEI Divide et Impera campaign it's been quite a long time since I did one. The Athenian series did tremendously well on the channel. Thank you guys so much for that. I was just looking back on that. Usually I like to see like what I've done recently when I've come back to a new Let's Play, like Rome. And I looked at that and I was like, the, just the, the, the feedback and support and the views were just fantastic. I really do appreciate that. Maybe I should do more DEI because you guys really enjoyed Athenian democracy. <laughs> that was a fun Let's Play. I really did enjoy it. Or maybe we should go back to 1212 AD. It's been a staple of the channel the last one, two years. And it's always really well received. And I still enjoy it. Hell, there's like 50 factions. So maybe we should go back to it. So... I think making a strong long front line is our best bet. Trying to pin and hold and then waiting for Crixus. Oh, Crixus is coming from behind them. Oh, God. <laughs> so I guess we're going to have to push up adequately where we can. We're commanding with Spartacus, of course. While the goal is coming from behind. But they've attacked us and it's actually a cold, wet, and kind of miserable, damp day. I don't know what like the glow is like above there. What? What? <laughs> what? Why is it bugged out? Oh, it's because we clicked K, I guess. All right, let's start the battle and move out. So, we want to have at least three units stretched on their size. So, over their uh, flanks. Even if it stretches us a bit. Because we just need to pin them in place. It's not always in total war beating them in hand-to-hand -hand combat straight out. Which you often do lose against fantastic factions like Rome. You're better off pinning them down. Crixus now is coming in with his reinforcements from behind. So this battle, without even fighting it, is nearly said and done. Due to the terrain. The sluggish accord. Like... There's not going to be too much skirmish or fire on either side that we're going to rely on. It's going to be numbers. So let's try and push, pin, and hold the Romans where we can. And we'll try and envelop and surround them. So pick a target, man. They actually got number a slightly in this. Just initial fight. So we've got some Peltasts and early skirmisher trading. The third... Servile Wall started off as a small sort of unrest. It's a full-fledged civil war in Rome. The rebellion is now at its height. Archers, rain fire and death upon the enemy where you can. Try and get limited friendly fire, please. Crixus needs to get over here. We need to envelop these forces that have made their progression yet. Come on. Get around it. 
and then we'll send Crixus and his merry men except for the archers there quickly now let's decimate the Tarquinii garrison I've loved saying that right <laughs> after Tar I can't even speak fucking English probably let alone uh, <laughs> let alone for pronouncing these Latin names right they're now ra routing I already speak a bastardized style of English anyway being Australian right let's push you Matt right let's take that Yep, surrounding them. That's good. There's a start. He won't last too long. Whoa! Right up over the shield. <laughs> Getting winded once more. And then a quick little stabby stabby in the chest. March is doing well. And Crixus and his forces are coming in from behind. I really do recommend this mob. If you haven't gone and played it before. It is a little bit dated. Versions wise of the patch. Patch 16. But if you haven't played it and want something new and fresh. While you're in a quarantine sesh. I do recommend it. Alright. The centre seems to be buckling. But the flanks. Seem to be, seem to be drawing out. The Kong conflict and fight and now we've got Servi recruits from Crixus's force fighting oh they capitulated straight up <laughs> fighting with whatever they can sticks and clubs because not everyone that wants to join the rebellion has access to Roman arms let's continue to run down as many of them as possible. Get those chevrons up nice and high. The Tarquinii garrison has been completely shattered here today. Victory for Spartacus for the third Servile War again. Maybe playing as some of the other factions might be cool. Maybe playing as Rome in this flashpoint time period might be interesting. A decisive victory. We are just shy of 6,000, losing a measly 417. Gannicus Memorius, Memicus, or something, deployed 1,724. Who cares? His name will be lost to history. He lost 1,450. Looking at the casualties sustained and inflicted, our servile infantry did quite well. A couple of 80s and 70s there, taking most of the losses. And understandably, their young as start, he got a couple of kills. Charging forward, and then the veterans holding did tremendously well. So, we've taken their second nominated capital, Tarquinii in quick succession with minimal resistance. I don't know how the AI is coded in this, but they seem to be focusing more upon their not so much culturally significant settlements in the Italian peninsula like Rome, Tarentum, Syracuse. I think they are just too stretched, or maybe they start off with armies Oh, actually, look, there's like a rebellion there we're going to have to quickly deal with. I guess they're like Roman loyalists that don't want to join our cause. <laughs> Maybe they want sort of an old monarchy like the Italian kings or something, I don't know. Maybe hearkening back to like the Etruscan kings, I don't know. Yeah, Roman loyalists. They just disagree with Rome, but they hate us, <laughs> so they don't want to join us. I don't know, but yeah, we haven't seen... A Roman army in quite some time. The one that was there sort of fled north. Maybe it's like an economic thing. Maybe Carthage is more economically viable and there's more of a threat. They like way up the Numidians is more of a threat because they seem to have a lot more active armies. Maybe in Iberia as well. There's a similar thing going on. But unfortunately, guys, on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching episode four of the Total War Rome 2. Spartacus Rises, Spartacus Servile, let's play. We've managed to take another Roman city. 
at uh, Quinny Eye. And then in the next episode, we should be able to take Patavium. Aretium and Iridium and those sort of Genoa, Pisa, sort of those northern territories. We should be able to wrap things up and take the entirety of Italy under King Spartacus the Thracians' control. We could push to Sardinia and Corsica. Maybe Carthage and Iberia to finish off Rome completely. But I think establishing an Italian kingdom is the play. That's what Spartacus would have liked. Instead of sort of fleeing and running to Gaul. And then just allow the Romans to rot away at the edge of the world. Celt, Iberian, Romans would be their sort of Western Roman Empire legacy. But anyway, thanks for watching this episode. Stay tuned for more content on SimC Total War and more Let's Plays. Thanks. Peace. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simsy. Goodbye.